Hi everyone, Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today I just wanted to do a quick customization of the checkout to show you guys the basic options you could do. This isn't an advanced video where there are some other tricks you can use, such as a countdown timer. This is basically how do you use the simple customization given by Shopify. So let's get started. To start, you're gonna to go to your online store. You wanna open your theme section. So once you're there, you just wanna press customize. So from the customization menu, this is your main customization menu. We can look at your homepage and you can look at the regular customizations. So the way to get your checkout is you mainly just wanna click your checkout because this setting on the side here will change depending on what page you're on. So right now it's on the cart page. So maybe you can up change here, add some cart notes, depending on what we wanna do. But right now we're gonna focus on the checkout. So I've just clicked the checkout button and this menu should change in just a second here. And so open these up and so mainly there are just a few settings you can do so you can have a background image and logo you really want to add that to add uh, your store here just to make sure the customer knows main content area and you can select the fields at the bottom i recommend not putting a background image as it can be quite distracting for most people that's because mainly you want the customer to go through the checkout you want, don't want them to get distracted by other products the things going in your store wondering why that background is that you mainly you want to get them to focus on the bottom here which is the continue to ship it because you want them to move that checkout process so here i'm just going to select the logo i've already had it uploaded here so i'm just going to select that and it's going to render in just a second you can also change the positioning if you want to put the center the right you can also change the size maybe i'll make it large here Scrolling down, then customize these to reflect your store. So if your, your store has a custom color scheme of red, you might want to change this to a nice red here. Same thing with the button. Red is also great because it stands out here at the bottom. I want to change the accent to a green to signify success. But overall, continue shipping. You want that to stand out for the user, that color to pop so they click to the next page, or it's easy to know where they want to click. So that's the basic customization for the checkout in the theme section. Mobile looks good too, so local looks good. I've also added credit card symbols at the bottom here just to add that extra sense of trust. So to get to the other checkout settings, you want to navigate back to the Shopify dashboard. Once you get there, you want to go to settings at the bottom here. So once you go to settings, you want to click on checkout. And so this will further give you some customization on how you want things to be done. For example, customer accounts. I have them disabled right here. Customer accounts tend to be distracting unless you get a lot of repeat purchases because the customer gets that checkout page and they see you have to create an account. And it's confusing. It's like, I don't want to create an account. This is an extra step. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want the product? And you cause them to question again. So by default, I would leave it as disabled. Check out here. You can have, they can check out using the phone number or the email. Just different settings. This also can depend on your retargeting as well if you want to use more phone numbers or if you want to use emails as well. And here you can have form options, so a few things here. One thing to note is that you should include an address line too as optional. I know I didn't in my checkout store and a lot of people have apartment numbers. It makes it hard to implement their apartment number in just a regular address line. So having that address line too gives them that extra option. Here as well I can have tipping at checkout. You can also a few other settings such as to fulfill the item automatically, what you want to do, automatically archive the order. It's really based on how you process your orders in the Shopify store. The last example here are emails, abandoned cart emails. If you have your own app that does that, I would check these off or else the customer's gonna get double emails. But if you're just starting out, these are really easy to implement. You only get one extra email. Would you rather have two or three? But this is an easy way to start. And so that completes this checkup video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, subscribe, it'd really help the channel out. Also, if you guys are looking for three simple secrets to increase your profit, just click that link below.